guys it's me again um i hope you're all doing well the books i'm going to share with you in this video are reflective of my intent to explore classic gothic literature i got extra lucky because i got them all for very low prices they're from this local online bookshop called Bookstore in the Rye. And so if you're in the Philippines, I will be leaving their link in the description box so that you can check them out. I'm super happy because they come in the Penguin Black Classics Edition. Look at those black spines. I've been learning so much about Gothic literature since starting this channel thanks to Google and some awesome booktubers who share their knowledge about this genre so willingly. I will be leaving a link of Phileas Fogg channel. He has the best and most comprehensive Gothic lit shelf I've ever come across here in YouTube. So. I do hope you check that out, especially if you're interested with gothic literature. Let's get to the books. Let's have first Bram Stoker's The Jewel of Seven Stars. So this is Bram Stoker's eighth novel and one of his most famous after Dracula. This is an example of an imperial gothic which means that it has the elements of a gothic novel combined with concerns of imperialism or colonialism. So the story is about the attempt to resurrect an Egyptian queen. And this book basically has two endings since the original ending um, was heavily criticized for being too gruesome and so when Stoker published it again shortly before his death in 1912 he was forced by his publisher to create a new ending I don't know which version is featured here but we'll have to wait and see it was first published in 1903 by William Heinemann London and here's how the first edition book cover looked like and here are the other first edition covers Next, we have Ancient Sorceries and Other Weird Stories by Algernon Blackwood. Blackwood, whom H.P. Lovecraft is a fan of, is one of the most prolific writers of ghost stories in the history of this genre. Um, this book features one of his best and most disturbing works including the title story, which is the inspiration for the classic film, Cat People. This also includes the story, The Willows, which H.P. Lovecraft singled out as the single finest weird tale in literature. She by H. Ryder Haggard. This book, which is subtitled A History of Adventure, is one of Henry Ryder Haggard's best known works. Um, this was published in book form in 1887 after its magazine serialization, which ran from October 1886 to January 1887. 
So this is about two adventurers who encounter an African primitive race and its uh, mysterious and all-powerful queen named Ayesha who is also called She Who Must Be Obeyed. Um, remember that this is way before He Who Must Not Be Named was even created. The character of Aisha became the prototype for the female antagonist um, uh, in modern fantasy literature. So that's my dog. He's trying to get in, but <laughs> not yet. So the character of Aisha became um, the pro prototype for the female antagonist in modern fantasy literature. Um, this is famously realized by the character of Jadis, the White Witch, in the Chronicles of Narnia. And some of the characters that are... Okay, so this is Mr. Witcher, and he wants to be in YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, so some of the characters that are considered to be um, in the same tradition which Aisha has started are Galadriel and some of the Game of Thrones girls. Um, we have Daenerys Targaryen, Cersei Lannister, and Melisandre of Ashai. In the screen is the cover of the first edition that came out in 1887. And here's the title page of the third edition. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, my dogs are already trying to find me. Um, so we have, for the fourth book, Hans Holbein's The Dance of Death. The Dance of Death by the German artist Hans Holbein is considered as a great triumph for Renaissance woodblock printing. So it's a series of action-packed scenes where death is seen intruding the lives of 34 people from various walks of society um, from pope to physician to plowman what makes this work um, all the more significantly great is the miniature scale he was drawing in. Um, the wooden blocks he was working on for each scene were no bigger than four postage stamps um, placed like a rectangle. The book was banned during its time because of its ecclesiastical and social criticism. Um, one should take note that it was during an uneasy time with long-standing conflict between the Protestants and the Catholics. So probably um, the most scandalous scene here is of a pope um, who lets the emperor kiss his feet and is surrounded by corpses and demons. So, um, look at this.
For the next book, um, which is also our last book for this video, um, is not a gothic novel, but it's an essential classic read, which is oftentimes featured here in the classics booktube community. Um, I personally uh, learned about it because of watching the classics um, videos and this is George Eliot's Middlemarch. For Virginia Woolf, this is the only Victorian novel written for grown-ups. Um, she must have said that because this novel um, touches a lot of grown-up issues such as status of women, um, nature of marriage, religion, education, and most especially the complications of human motivation. So it's a thick book and has a lot of characters and intersecting storylines. But the main focus of this novel is on the thwarted idealism of its two main characters who both have disastrous marriages. From what I've seen so far in the classics community, this particular novel is a well-loved one and is a favorite among a lot of classics booktubers. So I'm pretty excited to read this. Um, in this work, Elliot, whose real name is Mary Ann Evans, broke away from convention by refusing to give this work a happy ending, as women writers of romance fiction were supposed to do during that time. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for having me once again. Um, my dogs have been trying to get in several times while I film this video. So um, maybe next time I'll have the three of them with me. Um, thank you very much again and take care. Bye! The character of Aisha is 